Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Katrina, welcome back. Today we're just gonna be doing a video unpacking some more products that I have, some on my inventory. If this is your first time here, my channel is all about starting your own business, entrepreneurship life, growing and branding your own brand, whatever that may be. Mine is a Christian clothing brand. So if you're interested in tips and tricks that will help you across any brand starting up, please consider liking and subscribing to my channel. I promise I don't always look like this. I do take care of myself, but today is just not one of them days. I'm in the middle of homeschool. It was raining earlier. Listen, just in case you guys be like, I'm subscribing to her channel and she look like that. I don't look like this every day, but we in the house. I figure I would just throw in a hat because the hair is not done and we just around the house working. So when you're trying to grow a business and when you try to take care of a child sometimes you just don't have the time so today is just one of them days so forgive me but please make sure you like and subscribe to the channel right down below it will help me out and if you're not into business life or anything and you just happen to click on this video you can also check out my channel Katrina BTV it will be linked down below that's all family fun a whole different side of my life with me and my son and my family we just do all types of fun filled things so check that channel out and subscribe as well now let's get into today's video sometimes me just starting out let me just keep it all the way 100 I didn't have five thousand dollars ten thousand dollars I ain't even had two thousand dollars to be spending on buying a whole bunch of products every size every color so I can for me to start out you know of course I have t-shirts I have hoodies I have sweatsuits I have hats I definitely want to move into other things like socks and you know accessories I have some beanies that I haven't even begun to design yet so because I had you know try to give a wide variety something for everything and I had kids stuff as well so I definitely was only buying like maybe two or three maybe five at most of you know sizes and colors some sizes maybe only one or two like three X so once I would start selling then I would turn right back around and buy more inventory not putting no money away for nothing every dime that i made i turned it right back around to reinvest in myself and that's what i have to do until i get to the point where i can afford to spend yes ten thousand or fifteen or twenty or more on inventory because it will get to that point this is what i had to do so every week or so i'm getting a new shipment so today i have and then because my manufacturers from my a lot of little Right on here from the box. I hate, you know, if you know a lot of places, they just put the stuff in the box. But um, some some of my manufacturers, that, well, this one in particular for my sweatsuits, they come from Virginia and they come from L.A. So I love getting them from Virginia because, of course, that's closest to me because I'm in North Carolina and they come really fast. This one came in from L.A. So I already got all the shipment in from V.A. Now I'm just getting the shipment in. Okay, the lighting just went down outside. Um, now I'm just getting the shipment in from LA. So now I just have to go and match up. Um, and a lot of people have been waiting on the zip up hoodies. So I was just talking away. My camera just ran out of space. So I had to go and I had to go clear some space up. Okay. So I got pretty much everything unpackaged. I said a whole lot, so I'm sorry, but I was basically just talking about how, um, how I chose my vendors. Um, if you definitely, if you would like to know what vendor I use, what manufacturer I use for my sweatsuits, because I do use a nice, heavy, premium, really, heat press is ready to go, because I have to get one um, hoodie ready to ship out that goes to complete this order right here. I already have, this is how I package my sweatsuits. Of course, the bag can't fit both pieces, so I have to separate it. So this is a sweatsuit that I have ready to go for men's that I'm covered. 
And if you guys would like to know what they actually look like, you can definitely go check out my website. But I'm going to put on one, model it up close and personal. It is a sweatsuit that I have on during my intro, in case if you fast forward it through the intro. But these are a nice, heavy, premium um, jogger sweatsuit that I have. Of course, I searched and searched. I didn't want gilded. I love this color. Can't wait to wear this color. Um, so, you know, I had to wait for some stuff to come in and stop. But this is the burgundy. They are jogger style. It's a unisex sweatsuit. I believe this is like um, eight and a half ounces. You know, when you look at the ounces and you know... Um, it's either eight and a half or nine ounce sweatsuit. So it's not thin. It's a fleece lining on the inside. Very warm. Very nice and comfortable. Soft to the touch. Oh, it feels so good. So this is definitely not gilding. No shade. So, um, but you know, you search and you find what, um, what works for you. What you think, you know, your customers would like. So I definitely want to put out a product that um, people would love that they would want to come back and buy another color so that's why I offer multiple colors I did start out with the military green advertising this color um, this sweatsuit um, is the lady signature sweatsuit it does have the company's name alongside the arm and I can't fit this one this is an extra small and alongside the pant leg but um, this color was completely like sold out so I was only able to, I only wanted to grab one. This is an extra small, has the logo on the butt pocket. But then I looked at the heather green. I said, look, I actually ordered it by accident, thinking that the olive green, they call it military green, was back in stock. So I said, ooh, let me grab some. And then I looked at my car after I purchased it. I said, oh, shoot, I ordered the heather. But when it came, I said, you know what? I like the heather better. I don't know if you can see that. This is the Heather, Heather color, and this is the regular military color. So let me know which one you like down below, which one you like better. My family said they like this one better, and I think I like this one too. So of course I have some more of this one coming next week, so that way I'll be able to release this color and start selling this color. Now y'all know, when y'all first starting out, because I'm offering kids clothes, hoodies, sweatshirts, shirts, hats, all kind of stuff, sweatsuits. I can't afford to buy 25, 50, 100 of each color, each size. So, you know, when you're just starting out, you make sure you budget yourself. But every time I made a profit, I turn right back around and invest it right back in myself to buy more inventory. So that's why, you know, my website might sell out fast in the beginning, which is okay because only I have, only I'm selling these products. So, you know, it's not like, you know, if you're selling Nike sneakers and they sold out at one store, you just go find them at another store. Nope, if you want my clothes, you have to wait for me. But eventually I'll get to the point where I can afford to buy, you know, $10,000, $20,000 worth of merchandise at one time. I'm just not there yet because I'm literally just like in month two. So God is blessing me so far because I'm thankful for every order I get and I am stocking up because people want, you know, certain colors are being requested. You know, I have a navy blue coming out for the first time. I have the carbon gray. I wanted that one in the heather as well, like the green heather, but I'm tired of waiting for it. So sweatsuits are real popular. If you have not gotten up on a sweatsuit game, you need to get up on that game real quick. Again, if you want to know what manufacturer, where I get mine from, comment down below and I'll message you back. I reply and respond to everyone. So make sure you respond. Make sure you are liked and subscribed. And I will respond right back to you and let you know where I get mine from. So now I'm just going to show you what they look like up close. Give you a sense of how they feel because they are comfortable. And that way you can make the decision if you like them or not. Because um, I had a hard time trying to find um, joggers. I'm still trying to find the perfect joggers or sweatsuit. It doesn't have to be joggers. But trying to find something for kids as well. Um, and I don't want to use Gildan. Um, I hate to keep saying that, but I do have some gilded shirts, but I'm switching some of my gilded shirts to something else. But nevertheless, um, I'm trying to find, you know, um, kids sweatsuits as well. So if you have any suggestions, let me know and I'll definitely let you know what sweatsuits, what joggers, excuse me, what joggers and stuff I use. So I'm going to go transform and put one on so that way you can see what it looks like. And I'll be back. 
So here you see me rocking my black signature series for my ladies, the moving gray sweatsuit featuring the heart and cross on the front, the matching drawstrings. I have the words of my logo written out on the side of the sleeve as well as going down the pants leg. And you'll get to see the full pants view in the next clip because I can't show it here. But this is very comfortable. I am 135 pounds at five and a half feet tall. So I am wearing a small. Of course, the pants have the matching draw cords as well. Elastic around the waist. It's very soft, roomy, and comfortable. The hood is not that large, but the hood is definitely a nice size. I have one large pouch pocket in the back as well on the rear buttocks. <laughs> and as you can see, the inside is fully lined with fleece. So this does keep you nice and warm. It is getting kind of toasty, so I will have to take this off very soon. But it's a very comfortable sweatsuit. So here you see the full sweatsuit from head to toe. This is a unisex premium pullover hoodie with the unisex premium joggers. It is eight and a half ounces, three in fleece. It's soft wash, 100% cotton face. So it's 65% cotton with 35% polyester blend. And if you get the Heathers um, selection, because they do offer a lot of Heather selections, it is 60% cotton with 40% polyester. This is so soft the pockets are really deep elastic waistband um, it's the same as the black other than the heather colors those again have the different mix so i'm just moving around letting you see what it looks like it is very roomy you definitely need to add this color to your collection um, you do need however a resale license if you're ordering from the actual vendor itself but i have ordered directly from the vendor and i have ordered from like a second hand company so they do charge like maybe a dollar or two more but now i only order directly from my vendor so i'm just moving around i'm gonna get jiggy with it so that way you guys can tell that this sweatsuit is so comfortable and you too will just want to start dancing around in it because it feels so good. So guys, how does it look? Let me know down below if you are interested. And it does come with tearaway labels so you can brand it and make it your own. How about that? I hope you like the sweatsuits I tried on for you. I switched and went downstairs so that way you can get a better full body picture of the sweatsuit. Back in my regular clothes now. I'm going to wrap this video up. Again, if you want to know where I got my sweatsuits from, what vendor and manufacturer I use, comment down below but make sure you like and subscribe first I'm just getting ready to package up um, this last hoodie this of course is the zip up someone did order a full sweatsuit but I'm sending them the zip up because they want to zip up as well and of course I customize it to match the bottom because they already have the bottom they had this one with the heart and the cross they had this one of course they can't get that in the front I could have put the heart and the cross in the front but I put the logo on the side and I don't have no folding space so we trying to make sure that we fold it nice and neat loving this business every step of the way it's just good to do something that you actually love to do I left my full-time job again that's why I need you to subscribe <laughs> you know partly because not to start this business um, but because I had to homeschool my son, my son does have, you know, um, ADHD and ODD. So, you know, we're just working on some challenges with that. So he needed my full undivided attention and I was working overnights and I just could not do it anymore. Um, so you'll know what my reason why is. And of course, that's my son. And of course, Christ is always at the center of everything I do. Hence, moving grace. But as you can see, I have my hang tag and of course I put my um, my own custom label in with my company logo and all of the specifications, wash instructions, material, everything. You'd have to have that. That's a must on all garments. So now I'll put this in the bag, package it up in the box, print out my shipping label and off to UPS. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you just learned a little something, giving you just little nuggets along the way. Please come back, be sending out. I'll be posting weekly videos 
every week. Sometimes I haven't decided if I'm going to do twice a week yet, but I think I am because it's just so much when you're growing and starting a business and they're all not going to be informational. Some of them are going to be so much fun. So I'll come back and I'll see you next time. Always remember to move in grace. I'll see you next time, guys. Bye.